Hey, how's it going guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dividend history scraper template using Google Sheets. All right, so here's uh, the final product basically. Let me just give you a quick overview on what we'll be doing in this tutorial. All right, so here I have a, a dividend history uh, template basically. And here this table is populated uh, to a function called import XML function. And we're going to create a scraper to uh, scrape the dividend histories from this website called streetinsider.com. Now let's say if I want to extract uh, the dividend histories for a different company. So here let's go into uh, Nasdaq's dividend calendar. And let's say I want to uh, extract the dividend history for this company, uh, the Anderson's uh, Inc. And the uh, ticket symbol is going to be ANDE. And all I need to do here is I just need to update the ticker to ANDE. And that updates the table. And this is basically it. All right, so let's uh, create a new uh, blank worksheet. And fortunately, the template is really, really easy to create. So here in cell A1, I'm going to type base URL. And I'll go into uh, Street Insider's website. And I'll grab the uh, dividend history URL. And I'll paste the URL in cell B1. All right, so if we look at the uh, URL address, after the question mark, this is going to be our query. And the query value is going to be the ticker. So here we're going to convert uh, this string to a dynamic string. So I'll concatenate the uh, query without the ticker symbol. And since I know my ticker symbol is going to be located in cell B2, so I'm going to type the cell location B2. Now in cell A2, I'm going to type ticker. And cell B2 is going to be the uh, ticker symbol. And when I populate the ticket symbol, noticing that the uh, base URL is going to get updated. All right, so here let's go back to uh, Street Insider's website. And let's zoom in a little bit more. All right, so here I'm going to select one of the elements that is embedded inside the table. Then I'll right click, inspect. If we look at the HTML source code, if we extend the uh, parent element, here we have this uh, table tag. And this table tag basically contains the table information. And the class attribute is going to be dividends. All right, so here let's go back. Now in cell A4, I'm going to insert uh, the import XML function. The import XML function allows us to write the uh, XPAC query which is going to be the query language uh, we use to create different uh, elements from a, a web page. You don't need to uh, know how to write the uh, XPAC query. For this tutorial, I'm simply going to uh, write the query for you. All right, so here we're going to insert uh, two forward slashes, table. Table is basically the tag name. Then open square bracket, add symbol. Then we want to insert the attribute tag, and which is going to be class. Equal sign. Here we're saying that I uh, want to extract the element where the uh, element is uh, a table and followed by where the class attribute is going to equals to dividends. So I'll grab the class value and I'll assign the uh, value to the query. Then I want to insert the closing single quotation to close the query. Closing square bracket double quotation, and close in parentheses. All right, so this is going to be the query. But for the import XML function, uh, we have two required parameters. The first parameter is the source URL. And the source is going to be coming from the URL in cell B1, comma. And it's going to be the function itself. Then we can press Enter to finish the formula. All right, so here notice that we're getting a very, very long string. And that's because when this function attempts to extract the table from this website, the function is basically concatenating 
every single text on this table. And we need to uh, separate the uh, columns. And to do that, so here, let's go back to the table element. If we examine each row, uh, every single row belongs to this uh, TR tag. So what we need to do here is we need to go back to the formula. And let's go back to the uh, expect query. Inside the query, I want to uh, specify from the table itself on the row only. And I'll convert the string into a table. Now, if I want to put different uh, companies' dividend history, so for the Anderson Inc., it's going to be A and D. So I'm going to change the ticker to A and D. And I'll update the dividend history table. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully, you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.